Welcome to Allegation Island live from Austin Jones City. Tonight we have a really, really big one. I also have a really, really big one, but uh, that, that, that's not why you're here. And these rumors follow the unfortunate evictions of I'm Alex and Yander Ridder earlier this year. You may know the American YouTube streamer Dr. Disrespect, a 42-year-old man with 4.7 million subscribers, who's been a digital creator since 2010. And let's just say as a very distinctive evade boy vlog. You may also know him under the alias Dr. Disrespect Women. Stupid man costume donated five dollars says I want you to creep my wife. Or more notably, the mysterious circumstances covering his Twitch ban on June the 26, 2020, which I covered in my first genuine commentary video on YouTube, at least the first one that actually contained my voice. And I think the past me can describe it way better because he was discussing it at the time. Maybe it's because I'm lazy and I just want to throw to any VT I can, but uh, th th that's besides the point. Let me off, it's my uh, epic 18th birthday. Happy birthday, Arcade Star. Oh, I have no idea what that clip was. Uh, let's play uh, this one instead. He used to have 4.5 million followers on Twitch, and you know, uh, the reason why I say used to is because he got banned. So, you know, uh, the Twitter account at streamer bans road Twitch partner Dr. Disrespect has been banned. And for some reason, it says first ban ever in the freaking hashtags. Even though he was banned before for taking a camera into the toilets during TwitchCon. <laughs> Since he's like one of the biggest Twitch streamers ever, you know, everyone was speculating, oh, what happened? Was it like a DMCA strike or something that got him deleted? And everyone was also saying it was temporary. But, you know, uh, everyone's favorite news journalist in gaming slash rights. Sources, Dr. Disrespect has permanently been banned from Twitch. Sources, it is not DMCA. Sources, why do you keep writing sources every sentence? All Dr. Disrespect Twitch subscribers have been refunded and his Discord partnership has been removed well, I don't know about the discord partnership being removed because I'm not even in his discord and I don't even really care enough to join it but uh, yeah it's been confirmed that a bunch of twitch subs have been refunded because there's a lot of visual evidence and you know uh, this never happens with a temporary ban especially because the temporary bans are usually like one day or something twitch had also confirmed that he was indeed permanently banned and you know uh, they gave out their generic corporate statement about why it was banned oh my god terms of service violation but then they're not even gonna properly explain it are they and the thing is you know he must have really done something bid in order to be like a uh, permanently banned because he just signed like a huge multi-year deal with twitch because you know uh, all these streamers are signing a bunch of deals now and, you know a former twitch employee called uh, shannon z killer on twitter uh, hopefully you know a, a former twitch employee actually has good connections with twitch but basically they tweeted this out but it got deleted from my own sources dr disrespect is indeed done and not just on twitch i know why and cannot say but this is serious there's another deleted tweet from slasher which says look for several hours now i've been told from credible sources that the reason why dr disrespect has been banned however due to the importance and sensitivity around the subject i've refrained from going on it i don't feel comfortable with it currently whoever did this voice over in 2020 doesn't seem that comfortable with it either <laughs> Anyway, that was fun. I actually got use out of my old content for once, instead of just having it lie in the archive forever. And the main point illustrated by the way more funny individual in that clip was essentially that nobody knew what happened to Dr. Disrespect. But as of today, June the 22nd, 2024, we have some interesting new allegations and a very interesting response from Dr. Disrespect. And if they're eventually proven completely true, they'll back up the alleged severity that was expressed in the tweets in 2020. On the fourth anniversary of his ban, earlier this morning, a former Twitch employee, as Cody Connors, who was an employee there at the time, Dr. Disrespect was banned, tweeted this sort of cryptic tweet, which didn't directly reference the streaming in question, but I think everyone found out due to the date and other stuff, saying he got banned because he got caught sexing a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, and the powers that be could read in plain text. Case closed, gang. Nobody made the wrong decision. F him and his boys. Maybe he'd want that from the guy, but <laughs> anyway. Yeah, these are very serious allegations, and that's probably why no one was named in that tweet to avoid any defamation claims because you know of course this hasn't been litigated and if all of this was true you, you would think it would be litigated but also if this story is even true why the hell was he messaging on twitch 
instead of something like bloody snapchat at least with snapchat which you know uh, everyone's favorite developer yandere dev had the intelligence to use there's at least the fact that the messages get deleted after 24 hours and you can panic delete everything or block the person for the most part if you suspect anything's going on to avoid most of your cringe getting out there in the case of an expose let's just hypothetically imagine i have an only fan so you know uh, that, that's just a massive skill issue but then again i'm also not in support of nor am i in reality hypothetically a 37 or 38 year old man who's married with children creeping on other teenagers jake lucky everyone's favorite twitter journalist he's like the new breslor except he's a whiny crybaby with a bunch of dumb takes trying to get people at i show speed spanned for like stupid jokes he was like the first big name to confirm it and breslor came out from the dead to say that he didn't lie because he made similar accusations in 2020 and just for reference i think I refer to Rod Breslau, who doesn't really post gaming news anymore, as Slasher in the original clips I showed earlier, just so you don't get mixed up, especially if you're watching on the hypothetical podcast version or something, because I, I, I need to really start updating that. Another former Twitch employee, Zachary Diaz, tweeted out, so glad it's finally out there. And this tweet is a big deal because he was a former partnership manager for content development and acquisition, so he would basically be in charge of things such as Dr. Disrespect's contract. So the fact that he's implicitly confirming all of this is very interesting. And Nathan Grayson, formerly of Washington, Washington Post and there's still a gaming journalist tweeted out without revealing anything in order to protect sources I can say that the story tweeted out by Cody Connors is not the first time I've heard basically this explanation nor is it the second or third but he does address that these are all second-hand sources and again to be fair we haven't seen like any screenshots or anything although Dr Disrespect did have an interesting and telling response that he didn't actually deny anything in it in response to Jake Lucky's tweet he said the following Jake seriously I get it it's a hot topic but this has been settled no wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract. Note the lack of any denial of anything happening. He just says he got all his money and quote unquote no wrongdoing was acknowledged. He didn't say no wrongdoing was alleged. He didn't say he didn't do it. This sort of stuff happens all the time like you know when the FTC finds some company like hundreds of millions of dollars for violating like privacy rules or something. They will pay the massive fines in lieu of saying they are admitting to wrongdoing. But I mean would you be paying the massive fines if you didn't do it? Seems like a very legally statement. But yeah since this is a breaking news story at the moment we don't really have too much to work with but it's also interesting on one hand we don't have like any screenshots or anything such as of his apparent twitch message twitch dms <laughs> still gonna get off twitch dms <laughs> In the interest of fairness, in this statement that he posted at 7.08pm UK time today, which should be like two hours or so before this video comes out if I edit it on time, he did make a public statement where he now explicitly denies that he did anything wrong compared to the initial statement I was on about earlier, saying he didn't do anything wrong, that he didn't do anything illegal, which the situation that was referenced earlier would be illegal if it did happen. And he said he was paid out in the Twitch contract because like I played in the earlier clip, he was in like the middle of a contract when he got banned permanently. And yeah, in this until proven guilty so we'll have to wait and see more evidence presumably if this did happen and there were ndas and they've all been lifted people will be able to present more evidence at this point though and thus until then we do have to sort of assume that he's innocent Although it should be noted that thus far, nobody has deleted their tweets so they seem confident in what was happening. And I mean Dr. Disrespect does have the money for a defamation lawsuit against one of these people at least, if they were like fully lying and I would expect him to like exercise that right instead. And considering the legalese he used in his initial statement, who knows if a phrase quote unquote probed and settled refers to a monetary settlement rather than any conclusion of an investigation? But I mean then again if he says investigation, people will think police investigation and feel that there's some sort of evidence and thus he's automatically guilty. There's there's no smoke without fire etc etc and i mean to be completely fair in this new statement i just read out he said he was paid out and in the last statement he says he was paid out the whole contract which would indeed mean he was paid out from the contract but he never specifies if that was a full amount because hypothetically any sort of settlement or penalty for breaking rules could eat into the full amount that is owed but it still could be what it was contractually owed technically because let's say you're owed a certain amount you have to subtract penalties but then you get the rest apart from the penalties you've still technically been paid the quote unquote whole contract because that's what you're contractually allowed to have minus the fees from penalties and stuff and settlements can result in ndas which these people who are making the allegations were reportedly under a four year one which would explain everyone's silence but yeah this is really heavy speculation and despite prematurely hitting the tinfoil hat boomer era of being an adult i still think that some level of speculation is warranted considering the dodgy legalese that dr disrespect used in his first tweet and the fact that even other online quote unquote celebrities or influencers like destiny are basically saying they've been hearing the same things as well i don't understand for the doctor disrespect stuff um i feel like i've heard for so long people say that they were worried about like potential lawsuits or whatever but 
Uh, I don't know why they ever felt that way. I'm not sure if there's like some other part to that story that I, I just didn't hear, but um, this story has been known since basically Dr. Disrespect got banned. Um, I'm surprised that it's been under wraps for so long, considering I think about a year ago, I started to hear about it from people that I wouldn't expect would keep those secrets, but yeah. Oh, you're confirming this or is it all secondhand? I don't know anything firsthand at all, but I've heard people that should know about it firsthand talk about this for years, years. But yeah, innocent until proven guilty. Literally no one has presented evidence and everyone who claims they've seen stuff is claiming it's coming from some secondhand source. Secondhand source also being the thing I call it when I'm doing stuff with my right hand. Yeah, I don't even know where I'm going with this video anymore. Thanks for watching. This is either going to end here or we're going to have some like massive statements soon. I've been Heliophobia and all my ads are at Heliophobia and on social media has an underscore on Twitter slash X. And until next time, good night, epic gamers.